What is going on all my fellow nerds and geeks? So I have got some mail calls today. Um, I got some pop or a pop, some Pez, and even a pin that uh, I'm actually pretty excited about. I really love this design. And this is a, so a while back the Funko Fiends split up into different territories because they're getting a lot bigger now. And so a lot of the territories now are creating their own pins. And uh, so I've been ordering the ones that people that have been popping up. To add them to the collection of the, uh, the Funko Fiends pin. Oh, that's right. They said this going to come with a button too. So... Oh, this is really cool. I didn't realize it's gonna be white on the outside. That's cool. So this is the one from the, I wanna say it's the Pacific, but I just, I love this design. I'm not sure exactly who came up with this design for them, but it is awesome. It is so freaking cool. Uh, I'm a big fan of like the Tiki stuff. So you got the enamel pin and I've actually got a little button to go with it too. So that's really cool. So I just love the tiki theme on this. And I actually like how they did it in like a white outside edge. So this is really cool. I'm really excited to add that to the pin collection. As you can see up here on my hat, I've got the glow in the dark version of the actual original uh, <clears throat> Funko Fiends logo. So really cool. I really like the way they did this. So. I cannot wait. I'm still working on upgrading my, or uh, rearranging my vest and stuff. So I will start with the mail call from the WWE. So if you guys seen, they had a new pop come out that was, uh, it was a John Cena pop and Amazon got, it was supposed to be an Amazon exclusive, which I'm not sure what the deal is with that but it wasn't shipping until April. I did pre-order it when I saw it because I really did want it. I thought it was a, a very unique idea. I don't think I've ever actually gotten a pop from the WB.com, so I'm hoping that it comes okay. So far, so good, looks good, looks good. Yep, the box looks good, everything looks really good. So it is the John Cena, You Can't See Me. Uh, just a funny idea for this. I thought this was hilarious. I actually, I've always liked, I, not, I shouldn't say always liked John Cena. Um, <laughs> when he first started his career, uh, I could not stand him. I was watching, I went to WrestleMania 19, it was here in Seattle area, and it was when he was like big into the rap thing and wearing the Kanga hats, and I could not stand his character. Then when he kind of got out of that and got a little more real, I actually didn't mind his character at all. But when I saw this pop and the idea behind this you can't see me thing, I just thought it was hilarious. And I am going to take it out. I do really, really like the, uh, the like, invisible see-through pops. I think it's really, it's just a really fun look. And I, I do like this too. I, I keep forgetting to mention about it, but the back of these boxes, a lot of the pops now will have some kind of insert in there to kind of go along with the, um, with the, wh whatever it is. So, <laughs> and I actually do not own a John Cena pop. I don't know why. Uh, he is a character that I do enjoy. Holy cow. What is the dog getting into? Oh, Dogs getting into the next video. <laughs> um, so here we go. We have got John Cena, You Can't See Me. So really, really, I, I just love the idea of this. Like I said, I do need to actually buy a John Cena pop um, just to go with the collection. I don't really care which one I get. I just need to get one. Um, there is a lot of, you can see, you guys really aren't gonna be able to see it very well, but there's like some discoloring. It's kind of a a yellowish clear. So, I mean, you can still see through it. It's still really cool. Um, but there are some spots where it looks like the, the color got a little bit um, smoky. So, 
Uh, but still really, really cool. I love this pop. Like I said, I do need to get a John Cena pop. I think they've got some at HQ. If not, I'm sure I can find one. So that is the You Can't See Me pop. And then that was from the W Network. And then this next one is actually from someone that uh, watched one of my videos and they had something that I could not find. Um, since that time and since we made the deal, I actually was able to find it. So we made kind of a different deal. He wanted a couple things from the Funko HQ. I was able to get them for him and he had some stuff that I was looking for. And so it worked out great for both of us. So one of these peasant here is going to be an extra, but I do have a friend who is collecting these as well. So he got really excited when I told him that I have an extra for him. Um, so packaged awesome. Oh, we got a sorter. We got sorter boxes for both of them. Very cool. Um, oh, <laughs> the sorter boxes are from the Huckleberry Hound. <laughs> so uh, we have got them in sorter boxes. So that is cool. I think I only own one Pez sorter box, um, but I haven't really done any trading of Pez. Okay, so I opened the one that I do not have yet. So this is. I'm really excited for this one. So this is the Chase of the Captain Crunch, the black and white version. So I have the uh, the just common version of this. No, the, I, it's a Target exclusive common, I, I don't know, I didn't get the Chase version of it though, but I do need to get the common version of this. It's got like a blue stem to kind of go along with this one. But really, really excited to add that in to the collection. So as you guys seen in my last video, I have my Pez started. It's almost finished. I have a couple more rows I got to put up. Um, I'm still 3D printing the parts for the uh, each layer. I think I've got one more three piece to print to make that one complete. And then this one here is the extra one that I have. And like I said, I've got a friend who is pretty excited. If he changes his mind and decides he doesn't want it, I'm not sure what I'm going to do, but he was pretty excited when I told him I, had, I was getting an extra one. So it is the Trap Jaw Pez. So uh, this was the one that I was missing and I ended up finding it at HQ. And as we were making the deal for this, I actually messaged him and said, hey, I just found this at HQ. And he was like, well, we'll make the deal for the Captain Crunch. And then he wanted something else that was there. And I told him, tell you what, how about we just stick the original deal, send me the Trap Jaw Pez Chase and the Captain Crunch and I'll send you the, one, the stuff that you want. And so it worked out great for both of us. So that is it for this video. I got some pretty cool stuff. I am really excited to put these up with the, uh, the Pez collection. And you can't see me, John Cena, I think it's just, uh, just hilarious pop. And I really, really love the Funko Fiends pin. This is great. So that is all. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. You can follow me on Instagram at NerdSmithing to see some up close shots. Uh, I think I've got pictures of the Pez wall, maybe. I know they're on the last video. I might have some pictures of, I don't think I have actually of, of the wall yet, but I am gonna put some up there and I'm gonna finish it. I should be able to finish it today because I'm just waiting on a couple more things to print and they only take like an hour and a half each. So um, should, uh, should have that done by the end of the day. So thank you all and as always, stay awesome people.